Welcome to Seed World 360. This is Hot Takes, where the seed sector's boldest opinions hit the screen, fast, unfiltered, and straight from the source. Our guest on this first edition is Dr. Pierre Huckle of the Crop Development Center at the University of Saskatchewan. He's a wheat breeder behind a slew of game-changing varieties, a relentless fighter against crop disease, and a voice pushing plant breeding to keep farmers ahead of the curve. Why is it still so hard to get stable, long-term funding for public breeding? I mean, what's what's broken here? Well, I'll speak specifically to wheat um, because that's probably one of the largest and last of the big publicly funded uh, breeding programs in existence. Uh, to be honest, it's always been a struggle for my whole career, you know, going back to, well, I'm afraid to say it, 1986. Um, and so, you know, that's what I've kind of grown up with and I'm used to. And, it, you know, part of, I think, the problem is that um, we're at the CSGA today and these folks know all about plant breeders. But, uh, you know, how about the other 40 million Canadians? Uh, they don't even know that we exist. So I think that's part of, of the problem. People have other things they're dealing with and more concerned about in terms of their tax dollars. Keating Seed Corp is a dynamic, innovative, locally owned company that specializes in everything seed related. I think the most important message related to our company is that we are simply open for business and we're expanding our business. We're growing and we're innovative. What we bring to the market is a wide portfolio of a number of crops of the very highest seed quality. We're currently growing 11 different crops. 10 of them are for pedigreed seed production and over 20 different varieties. Your best crop starts here. Next dollars. As you know, breeding timelines stretch over a decade, but of course, government thinks in five year funding cycles. Has short term thinking become the biggest threat to plant breeding? I think it's become a, a, a threat for sure. Um, I spent part of my <clears throat> teenage years in Moscow in the 1970s, so I'm quite familiar with five year plans and economic plans and, and that those plans pretty much trashed Soviet agriculture and plant biology. So I'm not a big fan of five-year plans. So I think they're a real obstacle to uh, long-term thinking. So Pierre, we hear a lot of buzzwords, right? Climate friendly, digitally enabled, innovation ready. But are we just dressing up a system that's underfunded, understaffed, and slow to adapt? Well, I mean, first of all, I'd say that you know plant breeders are are, are fa fast to adapt or adopt new technologies. I mean, we've been doing that for over 120 years, and you know, I can give you examples of the sexy thing of the decade that was adopted, you know, over the last hundred years. So, um, you know, I, in terms of being undervalued. Well, we're unknown, you know, in the, in the general eye of the public that just, you know, most people don't even know that plant breeders exist. Right? I didn't until I was in my early 20s. Right? So, uh. If you could rewrite the rules for how we fund and support public plant breeding in Canada, what's, what's the first thing you would tear up and get rid of? Well, the five-year plans. Those I get, I punt them right away. Um, I don't think you want to provide long-term funding like a carte blanche to any institution or or, or any entity. Um, you need checks and balances and make sure that priorities are set and and that there's deliverables and that they're that they're delivered. I, I think uh, we've gone into this mindset that we have to have mega projects and spend millions of dollars to achieve anything. I think what we need to encourage is innovation. And it, it, the ideas that come, that innovate, uh, don't require millions or billions of dollars. Um, you know, so I think we need to encourage uh, plant breeders, plant biologists, scientists, uh, pathologists, entomologists, I mean, everybody in the chain to kind of think at, outside the box and not be penalized for doing that, which is where the system is going with five-year plans and very rigid thinking. Time to think outside the box. Wise words. Thanks, Pierre. Welcome. <laughs>